I am doing a live today with Almora Botanica. Now I have got no makeup on at the moment. I have just put a little bit of the Almora Botanica onto my skin and I'm about to go live with Victoria Adams. She's one of our teachers of the Danielle Collins Face Yoga Method and she is a representative of Almora Botanica, which is an amazing skincare brand, all natural, all organic. And today we are going to show you some upper face face yoga for a real spring freshness. So clean hands, clean face. And today, because we are doing this live for Almora Botanica, I am going to use a little bit of their restorative day serum. I've already got this on, but I'm just gonna put a little bit on to my this oil. So make sure you've got clean hands, apply something to your skin, and you're just going to start by smoothing across your forehead. So we're really working on refreshing our skin here. I might occasionally just stop and see if Victoria can come in. Hopefully she can, but let's start relaxing our forehead here. Hello from London. Hi everyone. Yay, Victoria. Yeah. You, you can't write it, can you? <laughs> Good morning. How is your foot? Let's begin because everyone's been waiting to start this class and I'll talk about Amora Botanica throughout. Make sure you're following Amora Botanica. <laughs> I know, I think it must be something going on this morning with Almora Botanica account because um, it's fine, you came straight away on your account. So yeah, just the way it is sometimes. If you can't see, my face is so hot <laughs> and red. <laughs> it's gonna be really blood boosted in a minute from your facial yoga routine. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Well, that's a good way to start the spring freshness. I feel like, um, yeah, I was just saying we're almost at spring equinox, which is on, I think, Wednesday, which is where we have the same amount of hours, I believe, in the day and the night. So it's sort of the official start of spring. And it's all about boosting vitality. It's all about rebirth. It's all about sort of reawakening from sort of the quietness and the slumber of spring. So everything we're going to do today is about really freshening the skin. And we're going to focus on upper face because we're joining each other live again on Sunday next week. Hopefully it'll all go a bit smoother and we're gonna do the lower face then. <laughs> While we're working on the forehead, can I talk a little bit about, about Almora Botanica? Simply Please because we're using before. my account and we should be on Almora Botanica, not mine. <laughs> This brand is such a wonderful brand and I want to scream and shout about them. Uh, and I'm using these because I'm so hot. Stressing <laughs> about and these are really cooling. Yes. <laughs> so if anyone at home has got the mushroom gouache, I'll use those. If not, follow me what the routine I'm doing and Victoria will chat whilst I massage. I think that's the best way yes. to do it. So make sure keep your eyes on Danielle's beautiful face and beautiful skin. Not my clammy stressing out that we're not using the Almora Botanica account today to do this dual live with Danielle. But to tell you a bit about the brand. Well, first of all, Danielle, thank you for doing this with us because you are the leading, the world leading face yoga expert. She's been doing this for 17 years plus for anyone who doesn't know that. Now, for anyone that doesn't know about Almora Botanica, we are an Ayurvedic skincare brand. What we do is unique in that we, we, are, we are where science and plant-based meet. The products are truly kind to your skin, but what's unique about them is that the science that has gone in to the product, and you, if you have time, you must look into Ravi, the founder. The, the, the science that's gone into this product is beyond Ayurveda. It's truly, on a cellular level, nourishing, hydrating, and protecting and what's also unique about them is that we have blended it with the face yoga fitness so you get these results driven products combined with face yoga fitness to truly see results and changes positive changes in your skin so we're going to be using a facial oil today right Danielle yeah. which one is your favorite I've just put on the restorative day facial oil um, I put that on this morning and I've just put a little bit more on now around my forehead area which is where we're working so we've both got completely clean skin and that's what you want with face yoga with just a little bit of your oil or serum on which you use um, so Victoria's going to apply it to the forehead and what I'm doing here is tapping it really going to help the product just go a little bit deeper into the skin, deeper into the skin layers. Also working really boosting the blood circulation here. We're brightening the skin. Perfect for spring. I always think about spring skin as fresh and clean and vibrant and full of energy. And that's really what we're focusing on today. And let's actually go into the temples and just 
go a little bit into the acupressure and you can use yeah exactly you can use the mushroom gua sha's as well so victoria there is using the gua sha mushrooms there again from almora botanica and they are beautiful crystal they you can do your hands like i'm doing here or you can use what victoria's using both have wonderful benefits and the acupressure point will work it's very nice for reducing stress very good if you feel maybe like you're down with a headache or you feel quite worried about something hot flushes you, <laughs> you feel like instagram lives are not going well you can't get <laughs> the only thing they don't do is fan me down i have to use my hands for that <laughs> And the thing is, you're not even in our cold weather in the UK, are you? So I'm sure it's getting warmer where you are as well. It is wonderful in Spain oh, at the moment. Lovely. Like, do you know what? We need to fly you over to Marbella to do these lives together so we have no technical issues in future on the Amor Botanica page. What do you think? I think, yes. <laughs> Let's do that for sure. I'm going to just do a little bit of lymphatic drainage here. And yes, this live is okay, so don't worry. You can do this. Anytime you like, it's a lovely routine. It's really nice. Um, if you're joining us from to the UK or Europe, then it's morning here. I know lots of you are in America, Australia, India. You said this morning where you are, which is amazing. So maybe it's your evening routine, which is also really, really nice. And what I'm doing now is I'm working with my ring finger around the eye area and I'm using really gentle touch. I know Victoria's likes when I call it feather-like touch. I love it when you say that, it relaxes me. Because we've got to be so careful with that area around our eyes. It really is so thin and delicate. And actually, we really do need to get that lymph moving, but we need to do it in such a gentle way. So I'm barely sort of touching the skin here. You can see I'm not dragging my skin at all. I'm just leaning forward there so you can see a little bit better. And let's just focus on our breath for a few rounds here as well. So let's just breathe in through the nose and allow the abdomen to rise. And let's just breathe out through the nose and just allow our abdomen to lower. And really just allow ourselves to come into the present moment. I think that's a really nice focus or, or goal or intention for the start of spring. It's just to bring us into the present moment. I always think everything feels lighter and brighter and always more playful as spring comes and the more we can just enjoy that and bring ourselves into the present moment the better and i also think it's really nice just to think about a new beginning as well so what intention do you want to set for spring for your new beginning and maybe this is the moment now just to think about that in your mind you know what you could be talking about any time of year Danielle, any time of day, but when when you do these routines and when you draw us in and get us to put two feet on the floor, sit down and just be present to the skin, yeah. it, it's incredibly grounding. And I, I cannot tell you behind the camera how stressed out I was seconds ago trying to get this sorted. Um, and it does show the power of these moves, right? It's, it's beyond getting smoother skin or feeling younger, looking better, yeah. etc. It's deeper. It's so much deeper than that. And, you know, and first of all, technical glitches happen. These things happen. It doesn't matter. People will enjoy this life, whatever. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to do a recording of this and pop it up on my YouTube channel, Face Yoga Expert, as well. So what then people can do is we'll get that up in the next week or so. People can enjoy it on there as well, which is really nice, because I always think when things are on YouTube as well, it feels almost a bit more evergreen. So you can just sort of follow this routine um, quite often, um, just tapping around gently here. Okay, let's just bring our hands down. Maybe Victoria, you'd like to tell me, like, one, maybe one of your favourite face yoga moves. Up a face. I, I would love to do that. Well, my one of my favourite face yoga moves is difficult because I have so many of them, and so many of them are yours, Danielle. So as we're doing the upper face, I'll stick with the upper face, and it's it's the first one I ever learned with you, and it's the the first move in the Danielle Collins upper face yoga workout, and it's the owl. So you take the the thumbs and fingers into C shapes, and you're going to rest them just above the eyebrows and very gently on the cheekbones. I do it a little bit differently. Um, I, I add a few more bits in as I'm here in this position. Important that you soften the shoulders mm -hmm. and you're gonna kind of glare the eyes as much as you can. Deep breath as you go. So it's like you're trying to look really surprised, but only with the eyes, the rest of the face is relaxed. And then as you exhale, just soften. You can blink if you want. And then what I like to do is try to, because so often we're using the face and we don't realise, lift the eyebrows whilst pulling them down with the fingers. So the thumbs are really delicate. 
the eyebrows are lifting and the thumbs are being pulled down by the fingers. Now, if you're not doing it enough, then we're still creating these horizontal lines. So pulling the fingers down, lifting the eyebrows up, and just bring your attention to the space between the eyebrows. Two more deep breaths. Thumbs are very soft. Really lift these middle bits as well, because I find that these can kind of droop and soften. And until you try to lift, you don't realize how much extra lift we've got. Last breath in, shoulders soft. Exhale. And then just take the index and middle fingers and glide across the brows, up into the hairline so we get this extra little lifting move. And you can see all of that good blood flow and circulation to the area, which, by the way, for anyone who hasn't already got it, get a copy of Daniel's book because you can find out all about not just what to do with facial exercise, there it is, hows and the whys it actually works. So boosted blood flow is helping the blood bring all of the nutrients that your skin needs and that your body knows how to make to the skin. Now, when it comes to applying topical skincare onto your skin, you want to pick what's good for you and you want to pick something that your skin's going to absorb and it's going to benefit it in a positive way as opposed to anything pollutive and detrimental. Now, look, you see you've got all of these exercises in the book. If you spend more than £49 on the Armora Botanica website, you can get this cop uh, the copy of Daniel's book for free for the next week, possibly longer, but it depends on how things go, I suppose. So get it this week. And if you're not sure what to get, uh, Danielle, you were using the day, that one of the day oils. I'm using restorative this morning. So I've got the Radiance, um, the Radiance Day. What's great about the restorative is that it, it deeply replenishes. I mean, it's very, very light. That's one of the unique things about all of the Armora Botanica oils. But the Radiance Day is even lighter and yet does just as much nourishing, protecting and hydration work. If you're sweaty like me, or you live in a hot climate like me, or you get nervous and anything you put on the skin tends to look greasy or cloggy, the Radiance Day face oil is the one for you. If you already love your facial oils, then the, the nourishing and restoratives are excellent too. But if you know you want to start with something that you almost wouldn't no is there but you feel it's doing that work the radiance day is fantastic um and if you need any guidance of how to spend 49 pounds or more to get the copy of danielle's book with armor botanica then head on over to the website and you'll see the spring discovery set you get this pouch you can get the either the rose quartz squash or magic mushrooms or you can choose the green aventurine magic mushrooms with samples of all of the hero oils plus the, restore, the, um, the eye serum. And then if you want to treat yourself something extra, I would probably get the cleanser. Danielle, you talk about the cleanser quite a lot. I do. I love it. The pure... Let's find um, it. Um, do you like the one that's quite sort of dehydrated, but that I daily go to. And I've had every week. So when you run out of something and you're like i can't cope without it so yes i need to get more for sure what i'm doing here is still sort of focusing on upper face but i'm doing two fingers and thumb and i'm sort of pinching around the cheekbones just to frighten i'm frightened frighten but brighten <laughs> it might well frighten you as well but let's i was frightened this morning it's contagious sorry danielle <laughs> We're going to brighten the skin for spring. So we're just going all the way over here. Do fingers and thumb. It really is nice to have a little something on your skin here. It does give that glide. And we're doing upper face, but we can sort of work a bit more around the mouth area as well. Just helping to gently boost the blood flow, boost the circulation, encourage all that warmth up to the skin and into my skin is looking brighter, feeling brighter. I can feel that wonderful warmth there as well. So really, really lovely one here. And maybe I'll show you an eye exercise, actually. We're focusing mostly on forehead and eyes today. i um, done a couple of cheek exercises there, but shall I show you my favorite eye exercise? I would love to see your favorite eye exercise, please, Danielle. Sure. I've got so many, but I'm going to narrow it down to one for today. So we're going to place our two fingers here and here. So just lightly underneath the eyes where you feel a little bone there. And we're going to take our mouth into an O shape. Don't need to over exaggerate it, but just make it like this. We're wrapping our lips around our teeth. Then we're going to look up, but keep the forehead nice and still. We really want to train that forehead to stay as still as possible. And as we look up, we're going to flutter our upper eyelids. So we're going and try not 
not to lift your eyebrows mm -hmm. and that is the key there and really if you do if you find it difficult, you carry on, Victoria, there, and I'll sort of explain. Um, and if you find it difficult to do what Victoria's doing there, but without raising your eyebrows, you can take your fingers away and place them up onto your forehead instead, you know, and just encouraging it to stay really, really still. And that's a lot of what we do with the upper face. We really encourage the forehead muscle, the frontalis muscle, to stay relaxed and still, but we want to reawaken the eye area. We want to train our face to express more with our eyes, less with our forehead, which is gonna mean we're gonna have brighter, healthier, wider, bigger eyes, but we're going to have smoother, line-free forehead, which is a good combination. Lovely and relaxing when you're ready there. Thank God. Wow. <laughs> Do you have a favourite eye exercise? You know what? That that was that is one of them because this exercise that you just did, it actually it works on the eye area. Like now, I mean, if anyone feels tired here, just just close the eyes, give yourself a bit of a break. But I actually feel that it's working my lips, Definitely. it's working my neck. It it just brings everything in. It's like this head to toe or scalp to collarbone routine. And yeah, it, like I was doing this thinking, oh gosh, I look silly. Um, to whoever's watching but afterwards you're lifted and kind of that snatched effect comes in and we're we're using the muscles because all this that I do for sure we're not actually using the muscles right so my one of my favorite eye exercises this one is a really subtle one so I'm going to come close and you take your index finger and thumbs and we're going to use the bones for as a ledge now my index finger is resting very gently Janelle was saying earlier how delicate the skin around the eyes are. So make sure we use the bone to protect almost and to make sure we're not falling into the even more delicate areas. And just here, we're resting on this bone here, both sides, but I'm just going to show you one side. Now from here, what you're going to do, if you see the distance between my index finger and thumb, I'm going to widen them a tiny bit. So it was so tiny and I'm just pulling this skin taut and I'm then going to look down and that's when you might feel the tissue between the finger and thumb start to feel tighter and more taut. Yeah. It's a really good one for the crow's feet, but it's so subtle. And breathe as you go. Both sides, if you can. I'm just showing the one side. Three more breaths. And if you need a break and stop at any point, you can do that. And it is subtle, this one. And what I love about subtle techniques is it really allows us just to tune in to the really sort of delicacies of our our muscles and and I think often the the bigger stronger exercises you, know, you always be a little bit more sloppy with in some ways but when we do techniques like this where we have to really do such a small little movement to actually feel anything working it's really good not only for that strengthening and toning the muscles but what I like about it is it brings you so much into the present moment it's almost like you can't think of anything else I feel like other things you know for example if you're doing something like like you can always just do it like that and you can think about other things you know you can watch tv and actually there's there's something really magical in that as well but when you're doing those very delicate exercises and even like for example the fee technique where you have to half close the eyes and just feel for that little shake or that little pulse around your eye area even that i feel like you have to really concentrate because sometimes you have to do a slight position change with your finger for example to really feel that little pulse or that little shake around the eye area and that is so nice for focusing our mind and when we are in the present moment we are not stressed we're not thinking about the future we're not thinking about the past all the things that way from feeling really really calm that's what i like about a lot of those those eye exercises and actually I was reading a, a really nice um, study in fact it's one of those things you go into a rabbit hole and you realize there's loads of different studies about so many benefits about eye exercises particularly eye movement so for example you know even just put a hand on the forehead keep the forehead still and just look up and down and side to side and so many of these studies were saying about how these eye exercises can actually be beneficial for brain health and longevity of our brain and i was just finding that fascinating because when i teach these i also always teach them from either the aesthetic benefit so what this is doing in terms of strengthening the muscle around your eyes or what this is doing in terms of keeping your forehead still or how it's helping the health of your eyes so it's helping things like eye strain or it's helping things like um you know keeping our eyes sort of healthy for longer but actually i think that 
eye movements like this, just looking up and down the line, side to side for a line, can actually have benefits deeper than that, even for our health. I think it's absolutely fascinating. There's layer upon layer with all of these techniques in terms of benefits. I met a woman years ago and she said, I mean, she had to do a very simple eye exercise. Her, her grandparents told her to do it. And she was the only one of the siblings that did it. And her eyesight, she's the only one that doesn't wear glasses. Wow. Yeah, amazing. It's interesting. I hear many stories like that. And isn't it amazing? Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? There is one more exercise of mine that's my favourite. And I don't know if you remember when you trained me 10 years ago. Yeah. Uh, it, it, we've not got time to go into it. Maybe we can touch on it next week, next yeah. Sunday when we do the lower face. And it was for, for symmetry of the eyes. Do you remember? Yeah. I mean, you could you could do a workshop on this one, right? Because that's so subtle, isn't it? <laughs> do you want to do it just for two minutes now? Because I feel like now we've done a teaser, we're going to have to. I feel like Elvis or when I do this one. Like you have to relax this part, yeah. right? <laughs> like, well, we've got the expert, so over to the face yoga expert. Okay, yeah. You you show you show us, Victoria, that the one I need to know oh. what you're talking about. <laughs> okay so so you know like sort of the, the drooping eye area or one eyebrow is higher than the other lower than the other you can do both sides at the same time i'll show with one so the, the index Wait. finger comes diagonally across yeah. and it's just resting on the brow relax the eyebrow and you want to look up as if you're looking up towards the wrist yeah. and it's that you relax you have to relax the lips yeah. it's like you're looking up to the outer wrist to the outer corner of the eye and then trying to resist closing it like half closing it and then half opening it and I mean you could almost take 10 minutes to try to close the eyelid once and you'll feel this twitch underneath the brow bone yeah and what you, you can actually do and people often ask this question whether they should do one side more than the other and actually I mean you can but generally I like to work in the same way as I would if I was teaching yoga or pilates or anything like that working both sides of the body, but actually trying to bring them together into union. So say you have got one eyebrow here that's sort of higher than the other, and you want to sort of, what I would recommend, do both here, and you can do it like you're doing here, or slightly, you know, adjust your position accordingly, and then use a mirror, or just really tune in, and try and work what I call the, the lazy side as much as the stronger side, and try and get them to work together in union, because that's what's happening in your face day to day. You're working together, and you want them to try and become a pair. So that's what I usually recommend for that. I mean, if you've got really different symmetry, you can do a few more repetitions one side, or try and lift up a little bit but generally trying to work them together. But yes, that's a, a really nice, very subtle, but such an effective exercise. And actually don't do it for very long. No, and, but you know what? When you said about do both, don't just do one. Yeah. If you got your eyebrows done, you would never just do one eyebrow to try and get it to match the other, would you? You would never. Exactly. <laughs> I'll just have the HD brow on one brow, please. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Victoria, thank you so much. Thank you, Danielle. We'll see each other live nine o'clock next week hopefully there are more of a channel will be working but what i'll do is i'll save this on my channel anyway um and then people can can re-watch it they can go to our more botanica website for all the products we mentioned um you can go to faceyogarexpert.com which is my website as well and all the information on my teacher training courses and my books etc there and victoria your website that sounds great and remember Remember, can we see your book again, please? Yes. Head on over to our Botanica Credit UK. You can get, well, spend £29. This, I don't know when they're going to stop doing this deal because it's so good. You get your tools, you get the hero products, spend another £20 and you'll get Daniel's book for free. I mean, a full size of the Radiance Face Oil is brilliant, even if you've got a ring light on in front of you and you're very stressed and the point your face feels hot. Uh, the Purifying Gel Cleanser, Daniel's favourite. It's also one of my favourites until... I smelt the deep oil cleanser and makeup remover. It smells of spa, vitamin E and lavender. So there's lots of things you can get in there to add to basket to get your free book with your purchase. Danielle, thank you so much. Everybody who's joined the live today, thank you for your patience with the technical difficulties. And I certainly feel a lot more relaxed now. It's I'll see you next Sunday, Danielle. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye -bye. Thanks, Danielle. Bye.